All right, we are setting the suspension for the Armortech 1.6 scale Tiger 1 tank. What I've got is a couple of suspension arms set up on their torsion bars. And all the tools, um, about halfway through, setting up the suspension. So these are at a 30 degree angle, roughly. Now, uh, the way I'm going to set them up is by suspending the tank about an inch off the table. What I've got is just a stack of paper under there. And that's keeping the hole level at the right height so that these suspension arms are just sitting there at a 30 degree angle. And then what we'll do is we will tighten the axles and the torsion bars very, very carefully so that we get them all in perfect alignment at the right height and very, very tight. So the first step will be locating a fixed end. Um, this is a 5.5 millimeter fixed end. So the first two suspension arms on the back as well as the front are thicker torsion bars and it's only half a millimeter difference so it's really hard to tell them apart you can feel that the 5.5 millimeter is a little bit thicker i accidentally uh, used a five millimeter on one of the outer arms earlier i had to take it apart and Put it back together with the right torsion bar because of course the five millimeter slid right into the 5.5 millimeter fixed end so then we'll grab a couple of set screws using the mip driver now these grub screws is what they're called are um very very small so we're using a two millimeter driver and we're gonna just pretty much slide it on most of the way I, I'm, I'm leaving a little bit of the flat area exposed and then I'm tightening that about as tight as I can to the point where the grub screw is starting to um, strip not the threads, the threads are not stripping, but you can feel the purchase of the driver inside start to slip because this is these chromed hardware are not as strong necessarily as like a steel hardware, but a steel hardware will rust. So this has the advantage of being non-corrosive. And you'll see I'm not using any thread lock on this. Uh, I don't think I need it because the steel fixed end has a very firm grip on these and I'm tightening them to the point where they're starting to deform. So it's very tight. Now this won't slide through the hole, which is why we have to assemble it from the inside and the outside. The fixed end is too thick to fit through that bushing. So I'm gonna stick that inside. Let me show you. I will put this through that hole and there it is. So it's going into the suspension bar, into the hole that's halfway there. That's held into place from the outside of the hull by a large five millimeter bolt. So I'm going to thread that in from the other side and I'm gonna tighten it. I'm gonna snug it up. Now this won't be the right angle. What we're doing is we're setting it up with the flat part of the torsion bar up. That way when I insert the suspension arm, I'll be able to tighten those grub screws from the inside to on this piece. And this is the right side, so it's going towards the back. Right. 
So you can see it coming in. Now the way I'm setting the distance from the hole on the outside here is I'm pushing the suspension arm all the way up to the side plate of the hole. And then I back it off just a hair. That way that it's not rubbing. I already lined up a couple of road wheels with the rear idler and found that that alignment works pretty well. So here we go with the grub screws. I'm, I'm sliding in and out, finding the sweet spot, which is just out from the hole. Um, tight, 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 tight. One, two. Okay. So then now what you see is that suspension arm sticking straight up, right? Totally upside down. That's not going to work. So what I have to do now is I've got this the right distance and it's attached, it's fixed to the the um, torsion bar. I'm going to reach over here and I'm going to loosen the fixed end from with the large bolt. And I'll just let that flop down. I know it's at the right angle because the hull should be relatively level. And I'm going to tighten this other end, fixed end, with my 5 millimeter driver. So the grub screws now are facing <coughs> down. So I couldn't tighten them if I wanted to or loosen them, either one. And that looks pretty good. So... It's a longer axle for a double spaced road wheel, shorter for a single, for a narrow spaced road wheel. And um, still not done yet. I have to take a large, a large grub screw. This is a beefier grub screw right here. And on a nice three millimeter driver. And that is gonna go here. So that is going to give you some extra power on the fixed end. So we're almost done, but not 100% done. This has only been snugged from the outside and this is snugged on the inside or tightened as much as you want to tighten. But there's still more tightness you can add to the far end. So what I'm gonna do is go to the screw over here, which is this one. And I'm gonna use another wrench that has more leverage on it. And I'm going to tighten it. See, that's turning even more. And I'm gonna keep turning that until it won't turn anymore. So I get another half a turn to a whole turn with that. Right. So you can see here how it's looking. There we go. Got a lot of obstacles in here. And that kind of gives you an idea of how the suspension's getting stuck. Okay, so you can see also, this is not perfectly, perfectly, perfectly flat, right? Like this one's a little bit higher than the other ones, but that's okay. That's okay. <laughs>